In this tutorial, we're going to follow the quick start guide for creating the Zinc 4 projector with ActionScript 3. If you haven't already seen our quick start guide for ActionScript 2, I recommend watching that first. To begin, as before, we're going to start in the Zinc 4 Live Docs. Zinc 4 Live Docs are available at the URL shown here. Click on the drop down and select General Help File and expand using Zinc 4. You'll see there are two quick start guides, as I mentioned previously, an AS2 and an AS3. In this tutorial, we're going to follow the AS3 guide. AS3 differs from AS2 because we have to first import the mdm.swc library into Flash. The, SW the SWIC file is located in the installation folder where Zinc 4 is. So, for example, if you've installed Zinc 4 in the Applications folder, I'm on a Mac at the moment, uh, just go to that folder and there's a subfolder called SWC which contains two library files, one for Flash and one for Flex. Uh, in this case we're going to copy the flash version and if we go to applications find Adobe Flash common configuration and components and we just paste the component file into this folder here you may need to restart flash to see it visible in the general interface but um, if you haven't opened flash already then you can go ahead and launch it Okay, so let's jump into Flash and we're going to start a new ActionScript 3 project. Okay. As before, we're going to create a very simple projector with a simple button which launches a system dialog. Um, we first need to copy the MDM script library onto the canvas. Uh, I'm using Flash CS 5.5 and the library that we've just copied over into the into the configuration folder is located under standard components. So I just drag this onto my canvas and whilst I'm in the components menu I'll also drag a button onto the canvas. So as before we're gonna give this button an instance name of BTN short for button and just like before if we refer back to the guide in step 2 we've provided some code which you can copy and paste directly into the main timeline okay so if we take a look at this code the very first line uh, is importing the library commands from this component file here into the entire project. The second line initializes that library. This is an important step with Zinc 4. Uh, without this call, none of the Zinc commands will actually work. So this, this is a very important command. After these two initial lines, we have standard ActionScript 3, which is simply adding a mouse event listener to our button. In this case, it's listening for a click. Uh, upon receiving a click it's going to call a function called show prompt. Uh, we then define this function underneath and you'll notice that the function comprises of the same mdm.dialogs.prompt command we used in the ActionScript 2 quick start guide. Uh, we can go ahead and create a custom message again. Um, because we are using ActionScript 3, we don't have to change the player version to Flash 8 as we did for ActionScript 2. We can keep it at the uh, Flash 10.2 player as indicated here. So we can go ahead and export this movie. Call this AS3.swift. Okay, we can now jump into Zinc, create a new project. center it. As before we have to go into our extensions tab and just select MDM dialogs so that it's packaged into the compiled projector. Uh, we can go ahead and build. OK, 
Okay, so once again, here we have our compiled application. And if I click on the button, we have our custom system dialog with our custom message.